So there are some inherent challenges with running Facebook ads in the November, December time period. And that's because there are so many big advertisers spending lots of money. Think companies like Target, Walmart, Amazon, right? Companies with billions of dollars of advertising, they increase their spend during this time of year for Black Friday promos, Cyber Monday, and then the holidays in December. So they're spending a lot of money. And so when they spend all that money, that gives less space on the newsfeed for other advertisers. What's up everybody, Alvaro here from Alvaro Barrios Digital and it has been a minute since I have posted on this channel. I do sincerely apologize about that. August to October is an extremely busy time of year for me. So just caught up with work and to throw an additional wrench uh, on top of that, uh, I moved, hence the different background from my other videos. So that just added some more chaos to my life. Um, so I needed a little bit of a breather um, after the busy season in October ended, and, but now I'm back in a groove and will be posting on a regular basis like I was before. So in today's video, what I want to talk to you about is how to successfully run Facebook ads during the holiday season. So there are some inherent challenges with running Facebook ads in the November, December time period, and that's because there are so many big advertisers spending lots of money. Think companies like Target, Walmart, Amazon, right? Billions of dollars of advertising. They increase their spend during this time of year for Black Friday promos, Cyber Monday, and then the holidays in December. So they're spending a lot of money. And so when they spend all that money, that gives less space on the newsfeed for other advertisers. And so in order for you to get on the newsfeed, you have to pay more to get on there. So your costs go up and you know it can be a little bit of a challenging time for some people. That being said, there still are ways to find success with Facebook ads during the holiday season. And what I always tell people is that a lot of people, particularly your competitors, are likely taking a break during the holiday season, which means that is a perfect opportunity for you to swoop in and run some good ads and take away some market share from your competitors. So with that, how do you do that? All right, I'm gonna arm you with three tips that will help you run successful Facebook ads during the holiday season. So tip number one is run a promo, right? It's simple enough. During this time of year, people are looking for deals, right? That's what the spirit of Black Friday and Cyber Monday are. People want that deal. So if you haven't run a promo in a while, um, or maybe you've never even run a promo, definitely consider doing it during this time of year, right? People, when they're spending so much money on gifts for family and friends, right, they're gonna have a tighter budget. So in order for them to invest in your course or your program, or service, right? You need to give them a little bit of incentive, right? And so the best way to do that is to run a promo. Now, it doesn't always have to be in the form of a discount. Yes, that's the simple way and maybe the best way in most cases. But if, for example, you have really tight profit margins and you can't really offer a discount, there are other ways to offer a promo. So one way is to just add a bonus, right? So maybe include a bonus that you typically don't do during any other time of year. And so people are getting more for the same amount of money. Or what you can do is that you can create a higher ticket offer than what you actually currently have, promote that and be like, hey, by the way though, I still have my other program over here, which is half the cost or whatever it might be. And so you juxtapose this super, super high ticket offer with your regular offer. And now all of a sudden your regular offer, it looks like a much better deal and bargain compared to this super high premium offer. Some people still actually might take you up on that super high premium offer, which is the cool part, right? So you're gonna make actually extra money that way. But regardless, there are multiple ways to run a promo. It is important for you to do so because again, that's what everybody's doing this time of year. So if you're not doing it, you're gonna be the bland advertiser, so to speak, and no one's going to want to invest in your programs or services. All right, tip number two is be seasonal, right? So if you have been using the same exact messaging all year long, now is the time to switch it up because again, everyone else on the newsfeed is going to be seasonal. Think about the big advertisers out there that are gonna be pouring millions and millions of dollars on a daily basis into their Facebook ads. All of their Facebook ads, I can assure you, are going to be seasonal. And when I say seasonal, I mean they're gonna have seasonal images, seasonal videos, seasonal ad copy, things that reference 
Thanksgiving or Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever it is that you celebrate, right? They're going to be referencing all of those things, right? So you need to be doing the same thing, right? It's all about getting into the holiday spirit. So if your ads don't feel like they fall into the holiday spirits, then again, they're going to come off as being a little bit bland, boring, and people just may not ultimately click on your ads. So there's lots of ways of doing this, right? You can make funny puns using the various holidays. Um, you can also just update the coloring in your imagery, right? So right now during the Thanksgiving period, right, you use a lot of brown and orange, which is our typical colors for the fall. And obviously during the Christmas season, right, you can start using green and blue and white and all that kind of stuff. So just make it feel timely. You don't make don't make your ads feel dated is the ultimate point here. So again, this will help you stand out more in the newsfeed and blend in and you know people who are already in the holiday spirit will be more attractive to you all right and final tip number three is to really really emphasize your conversion rate optimization on your landing pages or sales pages so if this is something that you typically overlook during the rest of the year right now is the time where you really want to focus on that because like i said ad costs will go up no matter what it doesn't matter how many ninja tactics you throw at your facebook ad campaigns um, at the end of the day, your costs will go up and there's just no escaping that, right? So what is one of the best ways to mitigate a rise in your Facebook ad costs? Well, it's to improve the conversion rate to where you're sending traffic to. So this is something that many Facebook advertisers, particularly small business owners, they don't put a lot of emphasis on it, right? They have their landing page or sales page, they have their Facebook ads, and all they do is run Facebook traffic to that page and any changes they make is usually to the Facebook campaigns and not necessarily the sales page. And maybe that's okay because maybe normally you have already have a very high converting sales page or a landing page. But in this case, because of the fact that your ad costs are going up no matter what, you need to do more with the traffic that you are already getting. Get more sales from the people who are already visiting your page. So the best way to do that is to really, really focus in on conversion rate optimization. So if you've never done A-B testing right now, 100% is the time to start doing that. Do as many split tests as you can. You know, each and every single week, I would say run a new split test. Obviously keep on escalating the winner in that split test. And the cool part is, is that once you do all the split testing for the next six weeks, so to speak, well, come the new year, guess what? You're gonna have a page that is you know, 10 times more optimized than it ever would have been before. So do me a quick favor. If you are finding this information helpful, please click that like button. It really helps uh, push this video out to the YouTube algorithm so that more people can see it and benefit from it just like you are right now. I would really greatly appreciate that. Those are the tips right there. So let me just summarize them very quickly one more time for you definitely run a promo either just do a price discount or do a juxtaposition between a high ticket offer and your regular offer be seasonal make sure your images graphics and copy feel timely and that's not something that you think you'd be reading you know during the summer months or something like that and then lastly really really focus on your conversion rate optimization do those three things and i can assure you that you will still find success during the holiday season even though your competitors are taking a break at the moment so if you found this information helpful and you'd like to see if there's a way that you can work with me and my team head on over to alvarobarrios.com forward slash fbhelp help in there you'll fill out a brief form where i get to know a little bit more about you and then we will hop on a zoom call and see what the best solution is for you on that call I will tell you about the different solutions I have. I don't have cookie cutter solutions. I have custom solutions based upon your business's specific needs and goals. So I will link that down below. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. It really helps push this video out to the YouTube algorithm. That way more people just like you can watch this information and benefit from it just like you have. And if you have any other topics you'd like for me to cover, definitely just let me know in the comments below. The most popular and requested topics I get, I turn into videos just like this one. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss any valuable content that I put out on a weekly basis. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it.